Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Govinsky's Tutorials. Today I'm taking a relatively short look at AU3 FX Dub, the new release by Jonathan Liliadal. Just a couple of days ago I did a video on his Space app, which is a reverb. Here we're looking at his Delay. And in the video on Space I talked a little bit about the background of those apps, so I won't repeat that here. I strongly recommend watching this video. Jonathan was also in the live chat for this video. It's worth a look if you didn't see it. Now, before I say anything more, let me say I've got four copies of Dub to give away to subscribers to the channel. And all the details of what you need to do to win are in the pinned comment in the YouTube comment section, the top of the YouTube comment section. It's very simple. And if you're not a subscriber, you can subscribe now. So take a look at that comment to see what you need to do. I will announce the winners after two days. That's what I always do. A couple of other things I always do. When I uh, randomly choose the winners, I change the pinned comment to put the winners' names there. So you can come back a couple of days' time. If you didn't get a notification and you're wondering, did I win or not, you can take a look at that pinned comment. Another thing I do is I always put a thread in the Audiobus forum um, when I re release a video. So also when I choose the winners, I'll mention the winners' names in an updated post there. And if you win, I will directly send you a message through the YouTube comment reply system to tell you to contact me. Okay, so good luck, everyone. All right, now what we've got here is Korg Module Pro being played by Polyphase. And I'm putting a bit of mix box on it especially bringing in this tape snaps thing that I really like. I did a video on this also recently. I did a video on this too. Great app, Bleach Saturator. So here's the reverb. Using the large room setting, I think. And here's the delay. So let's go through the controls. We've got a dry wet mix. That's simple enough, right? Output gain. So we can make it quieter or louder or take it down altogether. Now for the time, I've got it tempo synced. If I want to do a manual sync, I turn this off. And then I can tap a time. Or I can adjust the slider. And I'm going to get all kinds of nice tape delay weirdness. Now, if I want to change the tempo sync, I can, let's say I want to go to an eighth. Drag along and release my finger when I reach that point. This is a feature I asked Jonathan for and he implemented it almost immediately. I was very impressed. Otherwise, you can tap here, then you're going to get that the dubby sounds every time you switch from one beat to another, which you may or may not want, but it's good to have the option to change by sliding really like that. If we want less extreme sounds when we do that, we can just bring the feedback level down. That little wow, wow, wow that you're hearing there is the tape snap in Mixbox, really nice. So we also have a fine tune. You can also play with that one for slightly more controllable dubby effects. Now, if you put the feedback up high, you're going to have to pay attention to the high cut and low cut filters. 
if the high cut filter is set quite high and you put a lot of feedback it's going to get out of control very quickly let's have a listen to that and then i'll just pull down the high cut filter to bring it under control so this is going to get really really out of control so i can bring this down Put it up again when the feedback is a bit more under control. Now, at the moment, ping pong is on. Let's take ping pong off. So the ping pong gives this nice bouncing stereo effect it off again for a second. Stereo detune will make the delay time shorter on one side and longer on the other. Bring the feedback down. Listen to the rhythm of this delay. Take it off so I don't get feedback. Change that stereo detune. So there's a different emphasis now in the rhythm of the delay. So this is quite an important one to play with if you want to play around with the rhythms of things. So if you want to use the high cut and low cut, you've got to make sure they're turned on. If they're off, whatever you do here is not going to make any difference. It's nice to play with these to vary up a performance. If it's too bassy, bring up the low cut. Tape noise for the choice of hard or soft clip. Personally, don't really hear any difference, mind you. Warble. a lot of fun. This type one is very noticeable, especially at higher rates. So that's sign. And that's random. I tend to prefer the random one. sure what that dual button is doing actually. Okay, let's move on and check out some presets. Okay, so we're going to listen to some presets here. Now one problem you have when trying to preview presets from a delay app is that probably the delay time set on the presets is not going to suit your source material. That's particularly the case with this app because for some reason, most of the presets are actually not synced. Um, they're set to time in milliseconds, and it's extremely unlikely they're going to sound good on what you play them on. So I've gone through and made my own presets based on the factory presets that sound good. But there are also a lot of non-delay type of presets in this, like you can get kind of tape sounds effects with noise and hiss, chorus effects, flangers and things like that. Those ones I will be able to demo for you directly from the factory presets. So 
let's see, let's see, let me start off with some of my own ones here. And what I've got here is synth master being played by piano motifs. Just try. Reverb. Delay. Now we're trying non-delay ones. So we've got tape noise here. Nice tasteful chorus. Now we're about to get a bit crazier.
So there we go. Now I skipped over the Frippertronics preset. Uh, let me just show you quickly what that is. So Frippertronics is basically just a five second delay. So now you've got a loop going basically. So you can kind of use it as a, as a very short looper as well. So that's pretty cool. So very nice sounding, very nice sounding. It's got a lot of presets, as you maybe noticed, um, and very well designed presets, except like I say, the times are not going to work with your source, most likely. So do bear that in mind when you're going through the presets. All right, everyone. So please, little reminder, if you found this useful, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're a regular of the channel and you want to support the channel, please don't forget I've got PayPal. The details are in the comment section. Another great way you can help me out is by sharing these videos and helping to promote the channel on social media. I really appreciate that. All right, everyone, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.